Hello everyone, we are gonna play after accident today. And like many of our horror games, we are starting off in the middle of the road next to a broken down car. And either our tires were punctured or our car fused with the concrete. Interesting. Also, when I opened the game, I was barely able to hear the ambient music. So I had to crank up my volume. If there's a loud jump scare in the game, I can tell my ears goodbye. Anything else about the car that's strange. Okay, number plate 6MBV006. Wonder if that has any importance. Usually... Those are blurred in horror games, I think. Maybe not. Also, I'm fairly familiar with mountains being directly next to the road. But not piles of dirt like this. This part from there to there looks a little bit artificial. Very strange. Oh well. I wonder what could be around here. An empty house, a strange shop, a villa. Something like that, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely a building. We are so lucky. We're not stranded in the middle of nowhere because there's a shop. Sure. Let's take a look around the shop first, because I've got the feeling it could be useful. Okay, we've got a shed, I guess, behind some fences. And a door that might not be able to be opened. The door looks like it's stuck in the dirt. Not my problem, and we've got a phone to call the police if we need to. I'm pretty sure we will not get the chance, but who knows. Ah oh yes, let's enter the store. Grocery list? Grocery list? Man, if you make a mistake, at least be consistent with it. Always call it the grocery list. Also, why do we have a grocery list if we are stuck in the middle of nowhere? Two Coca-Cola, cold. Two packs of chips, lace. Mineral water. No specialty. Ketchup, pints. Juice, milk, canisters, gasoline. Alright. I guess there are... The items are visible in some way. This thing... Oh. It is something I can pick up. It looked a little suspicious, but... You could have given it a little bit more depth. Oh well. At least it's easy to pick out the JPEG file. Why is the music quite... if I look in this direction? Doesn't the music come from the radio? Or is the saw somewhere else? Yeah, milk. Give it to me. Oh yeah. From this volume I can say, if there's a jump scare with a sound, I'm gonna hate it. Is so appetizing, or just by nachos? Well, are you choosing your chips? The orange package or the red one? I don't know. God, why make such a difficult choice for ordinary people? Why can't you put chips in a white box and just write chips? In I'm not sure if this blabbering is important. Well, seems a little bit like a mad rambler. That's not a pickup. All right. Uh, what else? 
Okay, it doesn't tell you. I don't think your refrigerator works alright. Anything else? Can I talk to you? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Two teenagers were hit, and the car might have been mine. At least the zero zero six fit. That's great. But I don't think I saw any damage to the front of my car. Maybe it's just a strange coincidence. Also, what still do I need to pick up? I think I need the second milk. No, I just need more milk. Yeah, I can't help you with that either. It's your choice to make what you want to eat. But I really have to say, the creator of the game might have to do a little bit of sound balancing. I'd really love to properly hear what the radio says. And not have to worry about my eardrums bursting. If there's a jump scare. And I still have no clue what I still need. Maybe I have everything, but... I don't think so. There's no... Hello. Oh. Welcome to the shop store. Do you need to sell your goods? Sell... Sell my goods? Fine. From you, $31. He sounds terribly rude. Goodbye. Also, I'm buying stuff from you. That dialogue makes no sense. Also, it's creepy that you have a picture of yourself. I don't know if you're the store manager, owner, or just the clerk, but... That's creepy. Well, gentlemen, I wish you much luck in choosing your chips. And you, please take the picture down. Really? Shouldn't this door have some kind of emergency opening system? Naturally, it doesn't. Well, radio working makes sense since it's not connected to an outlet. I didn't try to go through that door, did I? Okay. Why can't I fix the electrical box? Seems to be the only thing that makes sense right now. Why would I need to go into the shed? Why does it need to be a transition? Oh, more gasoline. Take it. Got the key. The electrical panel needs to be repaired. And how do you know that? How do you know how to do that? Thank god that jump scare was net as, not as loud as I expected it to be. But really, how do you know to fix the electrical box? Why is there red shine? This game makes little sense. 
really little sense, in my opinion. And the terrain needs some work at some part. But I'm guessing this is a person's first game, so overall not that bad. Sounds like something is running. I want to know what is making that sound. Does it come from the backyard? Nope, don't question it, just leave. For what? Why did you kill my daughter and son? What did they do? They won't even hurt you, and you didn't even dare to admit guilt, but instead you will suffer all your life, and in the end you will die in agony from not realizing your action. Okay. I was already under the assumption that I killed people, but good to know that they are your, ki your kids. I almost said your kills, but that would be strange. Or were they your kids? Nope. Still rambling. But I'm still confused on how my car is undamaged. Need to refuel the car and leave as soon as possible. Well, makes sense. After all, you killed people. I wonder if there's anything in the back that changed. And I use the payphone. Call the police on myself. See where that person got dragged to or ran off to. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything special back here. Also, these flowers seem to be an unsurmountable wall. Let's take a field trip. Just in case. That was a waste of time. Oh well. Doesn't feel like there was much of a consequence for the killer. Except for the parent cursing me. Really, really strange stuff. Okay. Thanks for the walkthrough of a little indie horror. If you do not understand the plot of the game, then I ask you to play through it and listen to all the dialogues and, most importantly, listen. This is my first game and I hope you liked it. General Xaxi. Well, it wasn't a bad game, especially for your first try. But please, please, please work on your sound design. If you make the radio practically impossible to hear, it doesn't help much. The best way to do it would be a menu with sound options, but I'm gonna say for a first game, it was totally okay. The story was a little bit meh, because you killed the two children, but there was no consequence. Nothing happened. That one jump scare was a person running through the screen. That's a little bit disappointing, but overall it's alright. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment or subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!